Okay, boys, as you remember, back in August, I stripped the John Deere Gator HPX down in order to replace the motors, the shifter, the controller, whatever you want to call it, and the wiring harness. Well, it took over five months to get those parts, so here we are now. I'm going to install all these parts, and here's the new parts right there. Yeah, a new wiring harness. A new shifter controller, two new motors and uh, gearboxes, and a special key for Aiden. He likes to think that this is something you can start the, the gator up with. Anyway, I will be in the process of uh, taking the old stuff out. As you can see, we took the old motor out right here. It's the one that's all burnt up, but we're going to place both sides of it. So, I will show you how we do it, and we'll go from there. Be right back. Okay, what I did was strip out the old wiring harness and the motors, and I put them in there temporarily until I get everything hooked up. I got the gas pedal hooked up, and there was a different wiring configuration. I'm not sure it's going to work. I have to check it out when I get a battery in there. Um... I lay down. I got to put the shifter controller in there yet. I got the two motors just laying in there, brand new. As you can see, one there and one there. I don't have them mounted yet, but what I have to do with that is uh, put them in, screw them in, but I have to put a spacer in there. You can see this spacer right here. There's one spacer that goes on both sides, right there, both sides. And that's to keep the motor from shifting back and forth and cut down the, the friction and the movement. Uh, so I will start to tie them down and uh, then put up a battery in there and test it to see if it's working the right way. But first I gotta install the, the shifter controller and then we'll go from there. See you later. Okay, as I put in the new wiring harness, the plug going to the pedal was different. We had double plugs on that thing so I put in on one side and I also hooked up the controller and the motors to test them with the battery everything seems to work fine except one thing when you got it in forward it's going reverse and when you got it in reverse it's going forward so something they did with the new gas pedal here has reversed the polarity but since this is DC motors all I did was take the leads on the two motors and reverse them and we actually get the right movement now on the motor so we're going forward and reverse so everything seems to be working going forward there when I hold this down going backwards there and then when I put it in second which is the fastest speed it's going forward so everything seems to be okay now i have to mount the motors get them down put the axle in there and then we can test it to see what it looks like hopefully this will be a <laughs> this will all work okay i'll be back okay well what i did was get the axle it slides through and it goes to the motor and you see down there, there's a spacer down by the axle. You slip it through, and you come on the other side with a spacer, and you slide that through, and you get through to the through the motor gearbox, and I'm ready to put the tire back on on the other side. Once I do that, then we can actually test it to make sure it works right before I put everything back together again. But yeah, this has been a little challenging since... Uh, they changed the switch. I probably should have bought a new gas pedal too. They probably have a different one out that keeps the polarity the same, but that's okay. I can reverse it in a motor and it should work fine. Anyway, uh, I'll be back as soon as I put that tire back on. Okay, here's a little trick with this axle. I stuck it, the axle all the way through and I'm tightening the bolt on this side, but when you tighten the bolt and turn it, the axle turns. So what you have to do is take a pair of vice grips, put it on the axle so you can get that thing stopped turning and actually tighten it up. I'll show you what, 
I'm going to do it. All right, there's the vice grips. Tight on the axle. And what I'll do now is start tightening this nut. And the axle's not moving. It's held in by the vice grips. So, until I get it bottom out. Okay, it's, it's done. All right, that concludes that. Now I'm going to put it on the floor, test it, and button it up, hopefully. Right by. Okay, it's on the floor. I put it in first gear, hit the pedal, and it goes forward like it's supposed to. If I hold the thing down, hit the pedal, it goes in reverse. And if I put it in second gear, it goes fast. So everything looks good. And all I have to do is start buttoning up all this open stuff. And hopefully, you'll have a spare gator over here you can use. It should be like brand new. All right, I'll get back to you when I button up everything. Well, guys, it's all finished, capped up. And Aiden, as you can see, you've got a little John Deere key there. Uh, I got the, all the seat belts and the rails and the seats all tightened up. <clears throat> the deck, I put the, I mean, I'm sorry, put the, what do you call it on? The, the bed, and it works fine, no problem. So, this thing is ready to go. I'm going to put it out in the middle of the, the pole barn so you can see it. And then next time you guys come over, you can give it a test ride. I made sure when I put the seats on, they went all the way back because you guys are getting kind of big now. But <clears throat> eventually it'll be perfect for uh, Benjamin and Rio. I mean, Benjamin and uh, <laughs> Nathan. So, uh, there you have it. Wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be to put it together because of the wiring was different, but I had to come up with a different way. So um, you put it in forward, it went forward, reverse, it went reverse, and made sure it had the second speed. So I'm sure there's a new pedal that goes with this thing to make it right. But like I said, I just switched the wires on the motors since they're DC motors and it changed the polarity and everything else worked fine after that. So let me put it in the middle of the pole barn and you take a final look at it and I'll be right back. Hey boys, there's the final product. It looks good, runs good, and I mean, the little bit I know about it, because I can't sit in it, it is freaking fast. Unbelievable. What a difference. Like I said, I tightened everything around, even the front where the battery's at, so it fits up better. It open, it's harder to open, but it keeps the battery in place. That's the main thing. And like I said, the gear shift, Everything's cool. It's in first gear now. And it's pretty quick. That's just first gear. Think about second gear. My God, it's unbelievable. Really takes off. And reverse isn't bad at all either. So bottom line is, this thing is ready to go. And next time you guys come over here, you can test it out because it really is fast now. Unbelievable. But that's what happens when you rebuild it and put in new motors. I mean, those motors took a beating. This was a second-hand gator to begin with, so it was used before. And you guys used it like crazy, so it needed an overhaul. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you're happy. It's all finished. Like I said, it's ready to go. Next time you guys come, you can test it out. Anyway, I love you guys. And take care. Bye-bye.